Good morning, Fast Cab. Luke is here. So I worked with Christian and Lauren, and we did some rearranging. So what you're looking at here is we moved these two racks together. The solo activator used to be in the middle of them. Now the solar activator is over here, so it's a lot easier for Dalton to pull it in. Then we pulled the two P10 kits out, put them here. That allowed us to get a full pallet of 10 ounce of all four glues down there. So a lot less restocking, easy to pull a pallet down. And then we pulled the books around here and squared everything up with the wax kit so it's all nice there. And we pulled the orange and blue bin holder and the cardboard bin out of here. And they are now over here closer to the shipping terminal. So the cardboard bin moved to here and then the orange and blue bin holder you can see moved to right there. And so the reason for that is whenever you finish an order, you're always coming up to the shipping terminal. So if you collect your empty bins and your empty cardboard, you're always gonna be ending in this area and where you need to go to put them will be right on this side of the facility next to where you're ending instead of all the way down there. So then if you're picking an order where you're essing through and you don't necessarily end up back in the back corner, you're not wasting motion to go get rid of your empties back there. Also for carriers, carriers often get whole bins of stuff built for them for large orders. And so for them to put the empty bin, they now don't have to walk all the way over there and all the way back there. Instead, it's right around the corner right there. Fast Cab Lucas here. So with the uh, rearranging in the back area here, we got the Slide Pro Safe Cut Station here. So I got a new box for the foam for packing Slide Pro. Holds twice as much because it's double deep, fits perfectly in there. Got a new mount for the thing that holds it while you're putting the feet and the slides on there. And then we also got down here, the trash can right underneath you where you're working. And then the steel recycle bin, which is hanging out and easy to throw your stuff in mounted in there on some J-hooks. Right, so hey, Fast Cap, so we tried the orange bins over in this area by Carrier, talked to all the pickers, didn't seem like the best solution. We just moved it from one far extreme corner to the other far extreme corner, so there were still bins that were being carried way too far. So we also determined that they had an issue with where the Kaizen foam carts were sitting um, behind the foam way over here, that when they were all empty, if a lot was being picked, People would have to walk over, find out there were none, walk back, get a different order. And the shippers, when they got a cart, were having to walk all the way around there to put the carts away when they were done shipping the orders. So we came up with a new solution that we're trying out now. So we moved the orange bins and the cardboard right to the center of grocery right here. So you're equidistant from pretty much anywhere you might be. And then we created a new cardboard bin down at the end there by the activator and solo kit so that if you're coming around the corner with your cardboard after you pass this one or 2P10 here, we get a lot of cardboard from there. You're close to a bin for that too. And then we moved the Kaizen foam carts from where they were over to where the orange bin had been right by the strapper. And then since we took the cardboard out of here, we were actually able to create a holder for the small flat carts, the same and next to the large flat carts. So that's all standardized there. We still have full pallets of two P10s. So there's not too many switches and the activator and solo kits are still down at the end where they're very easy to fill in with the pallet jack and you're not trying to get in and around the racking.